Hi guys, this is JC. Everybody's been asking me, well not everybody, but a whole bunch of people have been asking me about making coils. And there's a number of different ways to do it. I'm going to show you one of the ways that I use to make coils really, really fast and really, really nice coils. Um, I use wire that looks like this. This is, if you go to like Home Depot to buy it, this would be a, a grounding wire. Just plain basic bare copper. I've taken this apart quite a bit and I'm going to take another piece off, show you how to straighten that out because they're all bent out of kind of weird and then I'll show you how to uh, how to wind the coils. So taking this apart it's basically just unwind it. Um, there's no trick to it <laughs> really. Um, you just gotta unwind it and it takes some time, it can be a bit tedious, but that's basically it, just unwind it. There, after, you, after the ordeal, you wind up with a single piece of wire and depending upon how hard the copper is, sometimes it's not very easy to straighten out, sometimes it's got nasty kinks and things in it. There's a little trick you can do to help with that and that's with this little device here, which is basically just a piece of wood. If you uh, Drill a hole, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a hole right there, just a little bit bigger than the wire, just enough so the wire can slip through it. You can slip the wire through it, and then with a pair of pliers, pull it through, and that takes most of the kink out of the wire. Just a quick way to straighten the wire out. Okay, now comes the good part. Get Pat to bring the camera in so we can see this a little better. What you need is metal doweling. This is 5 sixteenths of an inch, or what would that be in metric? Six millimeter? and a piece of wood with a hole in it and the hole is just big enough so that the dowel will slide through the hole. Take an electric drill take an electric drill and mount your dowel in the drill and if you notice if you can see right down in there there's just a little tiny bit of space between the uh, the chuck and the dowel and that's very useful because we'll take the wire and we'll put a very short little bend in the, in the end of the wire. And what that does that will slip into the chuck right beside the dowel. Now it doesn't have to be gripped by the jaws of the chuck. Why is that not tightening up now? Oh, I'm... Go the right way, that'll help. Goes in there, we'll tighten that all up again. So it's holding the uh, the dowel nice and firm and that's in there pretty good it's not going anywhere then you take that whole issue slide it through so it's nice and tight make sure your wire isn't hooked up on anything and begin winding
that does happen. Just pull on the wire and back everything up. Change direction and start again. Help if this was tied down. Tie your vise down to something solid. And that's how I make my coils. Undo it, slide it off, and you've got your coil. Now for those of you guys who they don't want a big long one like this, or you don't want it really tight, just bounce it. Pull it like a spring and it'll very, very slowly, very gently open up and you can get a nice, smooth, even, beautiful coil. If you want a short bit out of this, just take it, untwist one coil and then you can snip that off. Just like that. And they'll stay beautiful and perfect. And that's the easiest way I found to make these coils fast. So there you go. Any questions, you can leave it in the comments. Um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> it's that quick, it's that easy. Well, have a great day now.